we have not attracted foreign investors for a while. And that's why you have the exchange rate volatility because when these foreign investors are coming in, they are coming in with dollars and that will improve liquidity of dollar in the system that will help to stable the exchange rate between the Naira and the dollar. If this happens, we are going to have two sets of investors that will come into the country. We normally have foreign direct investors that will come in and portfolio investors. But the first investors that will come into the country are portfolio investors. Portfolio investors are investors that look at your equity market, look at your bond market, look at your, when I talk about equity market, that's your stock market, how much your, some of those shares are selling at, how much they can buy those shares there. Then the other ones are bond that are looking for same investment in terms of a fixed investment. How much will they get in terms of your bond return comparable to what they will get in their country? So definitely, once you have a stable exchange rate, like what the president is saying, you attract portfolio investors, you attract um, um, those that want to invest in bonds. So for portfolio investors, the first place to benefit where you begin to attract foreign investors is always the equity market, which are the portfolio investors. So this is time for designing investors to begin to take opportunity in the equity market, the stock market, look for good value stock, begin to buy them. Because very soon the foreign investors will be coming and when they are coming, they are coming with a lot of liquidity and that helps the market and that's the time that we always see the bullish run, runs in the market. If foreign investors are coming in, what should I be doing? Where's the opportunities? The opportunities in the stock market. You buy stocks that are value stock because once foreign investors come in, those price of those equity are going to go up. So it's time for you to begin to look at the stock market. Then, like I said, the fixed income market, which is the bond and the treasury bill, is also a good time for you to begin to take opportunity in those areas because the rates are going to go high. I know that the bond market is a fixed rate and it's a, it's a more risk-free type of investment. And foreign investors like those space because they look at the rate they are getting here comparable to what they get in, the, in their countries. And almost, almost 99% of the time, what they get here is higher than what they get in their company. So for the signing investor, this is the best time to look at the stock market, like I said, and then the, the, the fixed income space. The other place the president made mention of again was in the agricultural sector. He said, we will remodel the agricultural sector. He's talking about the livestock. He said, we want to build an agricultural hub. And when you talk about the agricultural hub, it's not in the farmland. Yes, the, crop, the crops are there, the farmlands are there. But when you're talking about, about agricultural hub, you're talking about building the value chain, the value chain in agriculture. And when you talk about value chain, you're talking about storage. So this is a bright time for investors to begin to look at the agricultural sector, not just in the area of uh, production, but also in the value chain that have to do with warehouses, building um, storage facilities, you know, the challenge with Nigeria has been that most of our crops are not being able to be exported out of this country because we don't have good storage facility. So as a designing investor, what should I be doing when the president said he wants to look at the agricultural sector? You need to begin to look at the value chain in the agricultural sectors. When you talk about value chain, you talk about storage. And when you talk about storage facilities, you are talking about, let me give an example. Uh, there's a season for a particular crop. At that time, you can go to buy those crops and then you store it in those storage facilities. At the time, the scarcity of that crop, by the time you bring it out, you are making more profit comparable to when you bought it at the time that the, the production was high. So those are value chain that you can build. You can also build value chain in terms of some products are due to be exported out of this country and they set a particular um, volume that needs to be ex 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 exported. So once you have your storage facilities, the farmers know that they need a particular volume. They can begin to store it in their own storage facility. So right then that you are making money from them until they get to that volume of the one they want to export out of this country. So the agricultural sector is going to be a very good sector, but you must not just looking at it, look at it as going to build a poultry or you want to have a farm or you want to begin to think about the value chain. The greatest problem we've had in this country, as far as agriculture is concerned, is in the area of value chain. We've not been, I want to talk about value chain, I keep saying the storage facility. There was a time that Nigeria was planning to export yam out of this country. And before the yam get to the US, US the yam got spoiled because of poor storage facility. So we need to begin to look at, if you're an investor, the place you need to look at in the agricultural sector is in the area of storage. So I advise everybody that is looking towards investing in agriculture, 
begin to think of how you can take advantage based on based on what the president say on building very good storage facility for agricultural products.